<clears throat> so, no, I did not see the Riddle, Nakamura, Boogs, all these other dingbats, Kevin Owens. Uh, yeah, it was bad. This is the what first happened? I've seen of uh, Boogs with Nakamura, because like Craig, I haven't been watching as much of late. And uh, it should surprise no one. The the whole Boogs act has heat with me. It's just not my thing. But uh, crazy, wacky guy doing air guitar is not my thing. My cock was broken, this guy said. Can you say that on Twitch? I mean, that's what happened. Peacock went down. I see. He couldn't get his cock up. Anyway, the blue, Men's the Money in the Bank ladder match. Big E versus Kevin Owens, Riddle, Shinsuke Nakamura, Seth Rollins, Ricochet, John Morrison, and Drew McIntyre. 18-minute match. And uh, as noted, they didn't do as good a job as the women convincing me that they were trying to win. Because it's mostly just beginning. doing a bunch of cool moves. But let me tell you something. If you like cool moves, this is a match for you. If you like seeing Ricochet make you really upset that they don't do anything with Ricochet, this was the match for you. If you like... Seeing Kevin Owens decide that even though he has a beautiful family, he's determined to kill himself in the ring, this was a match for you. All sorts of crazy stuff here. And the big spot, uh, I had all these ideas. Man, can you imagine Drew McIntyre? He wins that briefcase, but he's not allowed to cash in on Lashley. All the story... Well, eh, fuck that. He goes to climb. Out comes Shankly and the Disney guy. And they yank him off the ladder. And uh, they beat him up and they take him to the back. And we never see him again. Not like most matches where you cart a guy to the back and then he comes out for the finish. That was the end of Drew. He was gone. He's yeah, although, did you get the sense with his promo that the stipulation is he's not allowed to be booked in a title match, but somehow he'd be able to cash in? Like, Drew did the, this is my last chance, this is my only chance, as if, if I get the briefcase, I can cash in, because maybe the you can cash in anywhere, anytime, overrides and supersedes any previous stipulations. Well, they did They did say on TV when they put him in the match that if he won, he would not be able to cash in on Lashley. So they did say that at one point. That was canon okay. in WWE at one point, but, you know, canon is. I, I think it's worth mentioning, too, though, how well the Matt Riddle-Randy Orton stuff is working. Like, Riddle hitting RKO's, that place was going insane. So it's like the the wackiness of RK Bro is definitely working. So the uh, finish, uh, we had uh, Kevin Owens and Rollins and Big E still alive. And Owens took a power bomb through a ladder bridge outside, so he was dead. And then Big E and Rollins started climbing the ladder. And Big E gave him a big ending off the ladder to the ground, which looked brutal. And then the he climbed up. What was that? The ring. To the ring, not I to say. the ground. Well, you know the ground. Well, if, yeah, yeah, because I watch the show, but if someone if was you, listening. Yeah, if, but if yeah. you're if you're in the ring and I take you down, you're a grounded opponent. You're not an on-the-mat-in-the-ringed opponent. Brian, nope. he was on a ladder and you said he hit it to the ground. Yeah, the ground underneath that the ladder. That would be brutal. He hit it to the ring. Oh my God. I've got two Daves now. So anyway, he hits that move and then he climbs up and he gets the briefcase. And uh, the place goes crazy. Biggie does an awesome celebration. Everybody's going nuts. He's got a year. There's no hurry. But man, I hope they go all the way with his old Biggie. Since they couldn't uh, I, do I, it with I, Kofi. I, I tweeted a friend of mine to ask, because I, I think it's a really interesting question. Like, A, I think Biggie has to win. I think Biggie failing is just moronic. Does he do the babyface thing of calling his spot? Or do you do the surprise cash-in, which always gets such an exciting pop? It's like the ones that guaranteed crowd freaks out and loves it if you just run in, cash in, and win. But it is kind of cheap for a baby face that's, you know, been there for 15 years and, you know, everyone thinks and believes he deserves it. Does he call his spot and forego the cheap, easy, guaranteed pop? And call his spot and win it honorably? Which do you prefer? What I would do is I would do a Royal Rumble. And uh, you don't have to do this, but you could. It, let's say that he's on uh, he's on Raw. He gets drafted to Raw or whatever. And uh, you do the Royal Rumble, and somebody wins, whoever it might be. If they win for the SmackDown brand, you don't have to worry about it. But if they win for the Raw brand, let's say that Edge wins. 
and just throwing in a name. Edge wins the Royal Rumble. And then, for whatever reason, this Edge character, whoever wins, could say, you know what? I know I'm guaranteed this match at WrestleMania, but I don't want to wait. I want this match at whatever. Elimination Chamber, Fast Lane, whatever the case might be. And does the match, doesn't win the title. And then, right before the pay per view ends, when Lance shuts off the show to get ready to do the post show, all of a sudden, Biggie's music hits. And he comes out and he says, Lashley, you fucked up both my friends. You killed Woods. You killed Kofi. I'm calling my shot for WrestleMania. And away you go. Still get a huge pop, just him hitting his music. Because you get the pop for hitting the music, like you would for him cashing in. But then he doesn't cash in, he calls the shot. You get both. Know what I mean? Sure. Yes, sure. I asked you which car you wanted to buy, and you told me how to build one. That's what I do. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.